This is the second video on solving absolute value equations. We will do the same thing we did in the first video, and that is when you solve an absolute value equation, you must set up two cases. The first case is the positive case, which is just this problem with the bars removed. Then we need to do the negative case. Now the negative case is still going to be what's inside the bars equal to the negative of this side. But that side is a binomial, so when we write this down, we need a negative in front of parentheses. So let's go back to the positive case and solve that. That's just a simple Algebra 1 equation to solve. Let's subtract 3x from both sides, which makes those cancel out, which gives us 7 equals 3x plus 10. To get this x alone, I'm going to need to subtract 10 from both sides. Those cancel, which gives me negative 3 equals 3x divide both sides by 3, and we have x equals negative 1. This one requires a teeny bit more work. The negative in front of the parentheses tells me to change the sign on everything inside the parentheses. So it becomes negative 6x minus 10. Same kind of steps here. We're going to have to get the x's to one side and numbers to the other. So let's add 6x to both sides. That cancels that out. Leaves me with 9x plus 7 equals negative 10. To undo this, we're going to need to subtract 7 from both sides. That cancels that out, gives us 9x equals negative 17, divide by 9, and our answer is x equals negative 17 ninths. As we discussed in the first video, when you solve absolute value equations, you need to check. This one won't be bad to check at all. This one is not a whole lot of fun. This is written out for you. We're plugging negative 1 in for that x and in for that x. So 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, plus 7. Over here I did 6 times negative 1 gives me negative 6. Negative 3 plus 7 is 4. The absolute value of 4 is just 4. Over here, plain old arithmetic, negative 6 plus 10 is 4. That checks. That tells me this is definitely a solution. Now this one requires a little more work. I'm going to have to go to another screen to do that. To check this now, I'm going to plug negative 17 ninths in for each of these x's, which is what I have written out on this first line right here. Then it's time to do the arithmetic on each side. On this one, I reduce 3 into 3 once, 3 into 9 three times. So over here, I'll have negative 17 thirds plus 7. Here, for some reason, I didn't reduce. I just did 6 over 1. I did 6 times this over 9, which is going to give me this line. So here's that reducing, which is negative 17 thirds plus 7, but I need to think of the 7 as 7 over 1. Common denominator is 3, so multiply both sides by 3 here, and that's how I get my 21 thirds. Here, for some reason, I didn't reduce, so I just did 6 times negative 17 is negative 102 over 9, plus 10. On this step, I did this arithmetic right here. These are different signs. Keep the sign of the larger and subtract. Over here, I need a common denominator. 10 is 10 over 1. The common denominator is 9, so I multiply top and bottom by 9. That's how I get 90 over 9. Now that I have a common denominator, I can put this together, which gives me negative 12 ninths. Absolute value of 4 thirds is just 4 thirds, and here's the deal. 4 thirds does not equal negative 12 ninths. Now, yes, this does reduce, but it's still a negative. There's no way a positive equals a negative. So this answer, which was the negative 17 ninths, gets thrown out but the negative 1 that checked on the other screen, we do keep. This one looks a little bit different, but it's going to be solved the same way. We are still going to set up a positive case. Your positive case is exactly what the problem said with the bars removed. The negative case is still going to be what's inside this on one side with this side negated. So I have 3x plus 7 equals negative of 2x minus 5. And then we're going to solve this like we did the one previously. We need to solve this by subtracting 2x from both sides. That cancels. Gives me x plus 7 equals negative 5. Undo the plus 7 by subtracting 7. That cancels. And we get an answer of x equals negative 12. Over here, I've got to distribute the negative through there, which makes this negative 2x plus 5. Plain old algebra to solve. Let's add 2x to both sides, which gives us 5x plus 7 equals 5. Get rid of this positive 7 by subtracting 7 from both sides. That cancels. We have 5x equals negative 2, divide by 5, and we have negative 2 fifths. So there's our two answers. 
we're going to need to check. This check I'm going to write right here. So putting negative 12 in here and here, these are all of the steps. 3 times negative 12 plus 7. 3 times negative 12 is negative 36 plus 7. Those are different signs. Keep the sign of the larger, which is negative, and subtract. And the absolute value of negative 29 is 29. On this side, 2 times negative 12 minus 5. 2 times negative 12 is a negative 24 minus 5. Of course, you could think about it as plus a negative if you need to. Negative 24 plus negative 5 is a negative 29. The absolute value of negative 29 is 29. We've got both sides equal, so we're good with x equals negative 12. This one, because it's a fraction, is going to require a little bit more room, so I have that over here. So I'm going to plug this negative 2 fifths in for that x and in for that x and see what happens. So that's just me writing it down with the stuffing in. Let's do this arithmetic. Think of this as 3 over 1, no canceling. Same thing here, think of this as 2 over 1, no canceling. And this is what I have on this step. This is negative 6 fifths plus 7. On this side, 2 times negative 2 fifths is negative 4 fifths minus 5. Both of these require a common denominator, so I'm going to put a 1 underneath each one. The common denominator is 5, so multiply top and bottom by 5. It's going to make this 35 fifths. Negative 6 fifths plus 35 fifths is going to give us 29 fifths down here in a second. On this side, common denominator is, one, is 5. Multiply top and bottom by 5, and that's how I get the negative 25 fifths. So complete the arithmetic here. This works out to be 29 fifths. This side is negative 29 fifths, which you might think, oh, that doesn't work, but this is still inside the absolute value bars. The absolute value of 29 fifths is 29 fifths. The absolute value of negative 29 fifths is 29 fifths. So this one does work. So sometimes with these, you do keep both of the answers. It just depends on the numbers and how things work out.